Good morning, my scrumptious ravens. 4.19 a.m. And it's time for prayers. 5.49 a.m. And it seems like I've developed a bit of a cough. And I don't know if it's just because I have a dry throat or it's something sickness related. Hopefully not COVID related. So I think I'm just going to go back to sleep and not do my 6.15 class this morning and kind of monitor my cough. Um, yeah, I, I, I really hope I don't have COVID or something. That's what we weighed in at. Hello, my scrumptious ravens. It is 11, 11 a.m. and it has been a very strange day. Strange in the sense that y'all know I woke up, I was coughing, I wasn't feeling well, so I thought, mm, let's be on the safe side and not go out. Then I woke up for work, got working and everything, and I started feeling like a little tickle in my throat. But the thing is, I always feel a tickle in my throat, so I just kind of assumed it to be nothing, and I was just taking my safety precautions. And then I f started feeling like extreme fatigue. I'm like, bro, this is not looking good. And then I got my period. So I'm going to do a COVID test uh, probably tonight if I don't feel better because the fatigue, the tickle in the throat and the coughing, those three don't sound right. But then again, it could just be I'm exhausted, could be because of my period. Um, it could be so many things. So I'm just gonna kind of wait it out till tonight. I also did a weight check. I was at 172.2 Which is surprising because I feel extremely bloated and in a lot of pain because of the period So th that's probably gonna change in the next few days. I want to be like 175 176 um, I have not eaten anything yet. I haven't even finished a bottle of water. I'm feeling just so gross and in pain and just tired so i'm probably not going to go for volleyball tonight either your girl needs a break the max i'll do is probably get on the treadmill and get my steps in at least at least six thousand. that i can do you know like super low impact just getting the steps in and if i'm feeling ambitious i might hike that up to ten thousand. if i'm really feeling ambitious <laughs> That might be a good goal to have since I skipped my morning workout and I'm skipping volleyball. So might as well like up it to 10K if I can muster up the energy to do that. Because right now I just feel like I need a hug. I need a cuddle. I need a belly rub. I need someone to take care of me. But it's just me, myself and I. Um, I'm making some breakfast right well it's brunch now pretty much I'm gonna show you guys what I'm making it's a mushroom red pepper <clears throat> excuse me omelet and it's gonna have some feta cheese as well boom shakalaka boom I'll show you guys when it is complete also I just want to let you guys know the magic bullet says it can chop okay that is a damn freaking lie I tried to chop the red pepper in here. Men's made it a puree, okay? I don't know if I was doing this wrong. I used both blades too. Look, I used that one and I used that one and neither of them did the trick. You lie! So while the egg was cooking, I cut up the remaining red pepper that I could salvage from that disaster of a magic bullet chop session. Um, and I'm hoping to use this in my omelets. Okay, here is brunch with some garlic pickle. Yum, yum, yum. This is my hug for today. An almond butter ball. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. Look at my pumpkin, pumpkin patch. <laughs> Pimple patch. Can you see the white? I believe that means it's pulling out the nastiness. Kill it! Attack! Okay, 5.03 p.m. I finished work. I'm getting ready to stream. The pimple is still oozing the white stuff. You guys see that? I don't know if you could see it, but this is my second pimple patch. I took off the other one. Oh, 
actually, I didn't throw it away because I wanted to show it to you guys. So, here. There it is. So, I mean, I guess you guys can't see anything here, but look at that. Look at that! Ew! Ew, ew, ew! So now it goes in the garbage. Um, as a, in, in terms of food, I had the eggs. I showed you guys the eggs. I had two of the um, rolled oats balls with almond butter, that one. Um, and then since I skipped, technically skipped breakfast slash lunch, depending on how you look at it, I did have two snacks. So I had that the two balls as one snack and then I'm having one mango right now as a snack as well mango and uh, I'm feeling like crap I'm feeling like extreme garbaggio so I'm hoping that streaming will make me feel good also shout out to my desk I cleaned it who cleaned their desk I cleaned my desk don't look over there don't look elsewhere because that's a mess just my desk um, yeah, I'm not feeling good. I think, I think half of it. So I've talked to you guys about this before and I, I feel like having your period is like being turned into a vampire. Y'all watch Vampire Diaries. I always say this. So y'all who know, those of you who, who know my spiel, know my spiel. In Vampire Diaries, everything that you were before you became a vampire gets heightened so if you were an impatient person if you were extremely loving if you're an angry person whatever it is all of that becomes heightened and I have been feeling like down here and there but I was able to fight it and now that I have my period my ability to fight it is is uh, diminishing and so I just feel like constantly crying like I'm just at the verge of crying constantly today I was on the phone with my mom and I felt like crying. I was having a one-on-one -on -one with my boss and I felt like crying. And I'm proud of myself for holding it together through the workday, but let me tell you, it's getting kind of difficult and I'm feeling it so much in my chest. Like that's how many emotions are going through me and how much stress there is. Cause y'all know my dad had a surgery and you know, with that comes a lot of other complications. And I'm just tired. I'm just very tired also. And I had a conversation with my boss who is saying that I need to come, you know, back to work on a, on a, at least once a week basis. And maybe if situation or circumstances were normal, it would be fine, which I was doing before, but with the recent changes in my life, um, my mental health has been not the best and it's wow I'm like getting emotional already see what I'm I'm not, I'm not okay right now uh, I'm, I'm not <sighs> when I'm at home and I get overwhelmed I can step away from my computer right and take a breather when I am in the office there is no place to take a breather there are people everywhere and people are constantly coming up to you and either saying hi either asking if you want to go for a walk either asking like oh I haven't met you before hello let me introduce myself introducing themselves or they're asking you questions about the work or they feel more inclined to talk to you because you're there in person and honestly I'm not in the mental state to really be talking to so many people and have access to this many people at one time. So the last time I was in the office, I was just bawling my eyes out at my desk and I could not control myself or stop myself. And oh my God, it's making me anxious thinking about it. Like, ah, uh, my chest is hurting. I'm just really worried about going back into the office because it's like, I don't think I'm ready to be around that many people and if I was like mentally okay, it would be fine. He said that we can give you an accommodation request if you get paperwork and stuff done for it, but it's not. He's like, you know, unless you give me more information, I can't do anything about it. He's like, this is sort of an 
a word of mouth type of accommodation that we've given to you for the time being where you're not required to go back into the office but you know we are requiring staff to go back into the office at least twice a week or so starting next week we would like you to go back into the office once a week and I'm really nervous about that I'm really really nervous about that um yeah it's it's a I don't know how it's gonna go so I really hope it goes well I'm not pleased with it at all and I even told him I was like I don't have a choice so I will do my best and he's like I mean you know if you want to do a written accommodation request I just kept quiet because I'm like ain't nobody going through all of that <laughs> And I don't want to discuss my personal details with everyone like, hey, this is what I'm exactly what I'm going through. Um, I think my work should speak for itself and my work ethic should speak for itself. And if someone like that who is so diligent and hardworking is coming to you and saying, hey, I am not OK. And I'm like having breakdowns, at, emotional breakdowns at work. You should just trust that as like they're not trying to get out of work. There's something they're dealing with and they're getting their work done. So let's kind of work together to figure out how we can, you know, accommodate this person. Yes, I understand the importance of being into in the office once a week, but it's not some it's not something that cannot be handed over to someone else. So for example, let's say I need to meet someone who needs to come up to our suite and empty out our shredding bins. Okay, let's say it's as simple as I need to be on site so that I can go down and bring the person up to get access into the suite, take the bins, replace the bins and leave. You're trying to tell me I'm the only person in the world who can do this? No, I can literally ask someone else who's already in the office like, hey, can you just go down and grab this person, bring them up? Takes a minute, two minutes max. So I don't understand the urgency and it's kind of pissing me off and getting me up like um, frustrated that no one freaking cares. Like, I really want to work in a for a workplace that cares about their employees i feel like they say that they care but i really don't feel like they care because if they truly did then they wouldn't be coming back to me after giving me like a month away uh, a month from working from home and saying hey we need you to come back into the office you're doing great we love your work but I feel like there would just be more regard for, hey, like, she's not, she's like going through something. Um, let's kind of give her a little bit more time and then check in with her and see. And the thing is, I'm not just sitting on my butt. I'm literally also communicating with my manager how I'm reaching out for therapy and reaching out for help and counseling and stuff. So it's not like I'm just twiddling my thumbs and saying, mm, I'm not okay. Like I'm actually proactively trying to get help. <laughs> and fix myself <laughs> but it just it's just frustrating guys it's just really frustrating and then of course throw into the mix all of these changes that are happening of like <sighs> having to eat healthier not having to but of course you I want to eat healthier I want to be healthy and you know my body is going through a lot with exercising so much like I used to really be used to it but this transition, it's a lot happening at one time for my mental health and my physical health. It's a lot. And I think I'm just tired and I'm, you know, just, I'm, I think I'm just exhausted. I think I'm just very exhausted. And it would be nice to have some more empathy at work, but I don't feel like I'm getting that. And so I do feel like I need to look elsewhere for employment. Um, wow, this turned out to be longer than I thought. Um, I'm going to get ready for stream and I hope that makes me feel better. Check in with you guys at night. Okay. The time is 8.23 and I'm starting to get really, really hungry. So I had half of an apple 
that was left over from a while ago in my fridge. And oh, look at the pimple. It's really pulling out that nastiness. And I'm having a serving of this Boom Chicka Pop that is outside of my meal plan. But it says four cups, which is 50 grams, is 250 calories. So it's pretty, pretty much a bowl full. That's four cups. And it says certified gluten-free, non-GMO, made with real cheddar cheese, no artificial flavors, zero trans fat. This is what the calorie situation looks like. And I'm heating up one of my meal plans, which is the broccoli and ground chicken. This is dinner. Hi guys, I'm recording a closer for Monday's video the next day because I forgot to record it Monday night. Um, nothing really to update you guys on. I did not finish that whole bowl of puffs. I ate half of it and then I put the rest of them back into the bag. So that was good. Um, this pimple seems to have gone down, which is awesome possum. And nothing else to update you guys on for that night. I didn't do any exercise. Uh, so I feel a little crabby about that, but I really needed the rest. My body was just not having it. And so I'm going to end the video here. As always, I'm wishing your heart and your mind and your soul and your spirit and your body peace and happiness and goodness. Please choose to be kind to yourself and to others. Stay safe, my boo-boos. Stay scrumptious, my noo-noos. And God willing, I'll see you all in the next video if I'm healthy and able. Take care and Raven out.